Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. It's the festive season, everybody's gonna gather around, you're wondering what to cook, right? I'm gonna show you how to make a really nice short rib with Kikoman soy sauce. Okay, so if you haven't tried short ribs before, these are lovely, but you need to know how to marinate them because they can be a little bit tough. So you need a marinade that will tenderize and give it a good flavor. Quite easy to get these short ribs. Some of them come already cut. Some of them you just have to ask the butcher to cut it Korean style. Okay, so very easily available. Beautiful marbling. So the first thing is to make the marinade. You know how to make the marinade. You can make it a week in advance or a few days in advance. Just get it ready. And then on the day of the barbecue, you can actually marinate them uh, in the morning or you can actually marinate them overnight. But the longer you marinate, the more tender the meat is going to be. So we'll start by making the marinade. What we need is uh, mirin, sake. And the first step is to burn off all that alcohol. It actually makes the taste a little bit better. So just do it because chefs say so. When the sake and the mirin comes uh, bubbling away like this, is when you turn on the... Ooh, and make sure, uh, <laughs> if you got hair or anything, don't go too near, huh? because it will singe your hair. <laughs> so once the flame's gone off, we add in the sugar, and of course, the all-important soy sauce. Can you use other soy sauce? Uh, answer? Oh yes, of course, you can use any soy sauce you want. Flavour will be different, huh? <laughs> so I, I made this recipe with the uh, Kikoman soy sauce. So the amount of uh, saltiness uh, of different soy sauce is different. If you're using other soy sauce, you may have to tweak it a little bit. Okay, so this part you actually don't need to boil it. You just need to uh, make sure that the sugar is all dissolved. So you can set this aside while we get the rest of the ingredients for the marinade ready. We'll need some onions, some garlic, banana. Ah, banana! I know! Is it Aishun or banana? Banana and marinade. Okay, okay, I'll tell you where I got this idea from. You know, I was watching one of those YouTube videos where people are, you know, the, the camera is just there in a Yakiniku restaurant and they were just showing how they make the marinade. Yeah, I saw them throwing banana. Then I think, sure not. Sure not. So I tried, it works. So try it lah. But if you don't have banana, don't worry lah. This is important Korean pear because this has got enzymes in it that will help to tenderize the meat. So I've got four cloves of garlic here. I'm just gonna take off the end. Okay, just one medium-sized onion. So maybe you uh, agree with me. Yes, yes, you need Korean pear. But must it be Korean? Hey, I went to the supermarket. Uh, I can't find Korean pear. Like, but got something that look like this. Uh, but China. Like, can or not? Can. Uh. It don't have pear how? Use apple. Lor. Serious, the Japanese actually used apple in their marinade. Uh, apple, pear, all these fruits have got that enzyme to break it down, right? So, that's fine. And this is pang you know, the smallest banana. You only need about thumbs, no, okay, finger size, finger size banana. But any banana will do lah. So, let's uh, put in all this stuff into the blender, including the banana. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of this. Just want to add enough of the liquid so that you'll blend properly, but you don't want to put the pear in first because the heat is going to affect the enzymes. So this thing has got to go in when it's all nice and cool. So now, we're going to add in the pear. So remember, uh, make sure it's cool. At least it needs to be cool to below 50 degrees, uh, which means it's just a bit warm, it's okay. Now, I forgot. Uh, one more thing, if you want extra oomph, some dashi powder will help. And then, all the stuff that you blended goes in. There you go. And so you have a really nice marinade. You can use for basically a lot of uh, different meats. It's really good for beef, you can use it for lamb. Once you've done this, you can just bottle it, you can put it in the fridge, you can use it for a lot of your cooking applications. So I'm just going to pour some of it into here. Get your short rib. Just coat it nicely. So, your marinated short ribs, all ready. Just need to leave it in the fridge for at least half an hour, two hours, four hours, overnight, fine. 
okay? It'll be uh, lovely. I guarantee you, when this goes onto the grill and the smell comes out, everyone will be so excited. Okay, and when it's hot, apply the oil. So this will render it non-stick. Gonna put the lovely short ribs now. Just over. Woo! When the meat hits the grill, right? Immediately, the smell just comes up and you know, all my camera crew now is already salivating, you know. All of them are looking very hungrily at these short ribs. Once you place the short ribs on, on top of the grill, all you need to do is to leave them there and you look at the bones. Keep an eye on the bones because once you see blood coming on top, means that it's time to flip. So I'm just going to apply a bit of oil on top and you don't want the fire to be too hot because if it's too hot, it will just char all that sugar too quickly. So uh, a nice medium fire, you look at the bone marrow and then you wait for all the blood to come out of the bone marrow and then it's time to flip. The other trick I have to tell you is uh, once you uh, uh, grill nicely on one side, all right, the other side doesn't really take that long. So for extra flavour, you might want to add some sesame. I'll press it down a little bit and then I'll flip it over just to toast the sesame a little bit. Hey, time to eat! Pair of scissors. Cut off the ribs there. This one, uh, some people really love it. Some people like me. <laughs> this part, cook it off. Mm. Nice and pink the meat is still inside. Look at that. Nice and pink. Mmm. 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 It's one of those things that I just really love to eat. That marinade, together with the smoke, excellent. One of my favourite things to eat. Remember that samurai wife, uh, 300 years ago, managed to brew that first batch of uh, kikuman sauce. Thanks to her, we still can have this wonderful recipe. Until next time, happy cooking and happy holidays!